Well, hello everybody. Welcome back down into the basement where we're going to take a look at uh, how things are doing in my aquaponic garden. And then I'm going to answer the next question I've gotten about aquaponics, which is a kind of a quick discussion on, well, basically, have I noticed any of the so-called health, health benefits of aquaponics? Do I feel as though it is making a difference to my personal health? So yeah, stick around if you're interested in the chat part, but first we're gonna take a look at, uh, well, just how things are doing in my culinary herb garden that we've got growing here to uh, keep me busy and keep me gardening as we get into this wonderful Manitoba winter. All right, yes, the herbs. Looking at the garden from here, we can see that uh, I have trimmed up a lot of the dead parsley and we have new growth in the bottom. It's a little pale because the fish haven't really polluted the water that much yet, but ah, Q furnace, doesn't it? Every time, every time. Anyway, but uh, the new growth that is going on in here, I think looks very positive aside from the pale. And uh, we can fix that in a few different ways. We can add fish, we can add nutrients. And uh, yeah, lots of ways to deal with that and not not too worried. Plus, we're essentially re-establishing the bacterial colony in here because I have messed with things so bad I might as well be starting from absolute zero. Just beside the parsley, hopefully you can see this on camera, I found a surviving catmint plant. Oh, and there goes the drain too. I'm just getting the double whammy on the sound here. I found a surviving catmint, catmint plant and uh, have transplanted that in here. So that gives us yet another variety growing. I mean, again, it's a second mint, much like I've got two types of sage, it's a second mint. But um, it's a completely different aroma, taste. So I count it as yet another plant. Back here, we can sort of see the tricolor sage. Its leaves are not looking particularly fabulous and uh, I should probably cut this back. I mean, you can see this sort of floppiness going on here. This is not good, Mr. Floppy. Anyway, stubborn though. So clearly still alive, definitely growing. I only really see two colors in it right now and I doubt that'll be coming up on the camera, but it is still technically alive and with us. We've got the sage over here. Just move the camera so you can get a slightly better look at uh, kind of what's growing on off to the side here. So looking at the next part of the garden here, Right in front of me, we can see those two mint cuttings I put in last week. I've definitely got some new growth on this mint. Very, very sturdy, both of them. Even this one that looks so faded. Take some of these dead leaves off because it's certainly not needed now. At the top of it, I have bright, fresh green growth. So that is very exciting. Here's that this sage we were uh, taking a look at before I moved the camera. Doing much better now that I've trimmed it down and again, gotten rid of some of the scragglier looking leaves. Even as I shake it now, the aroma is coming up so intense. I just, I love this sage. Always so happy to have it in an aquaponic garden. Then right in front of it, we've got that oregano that gave me such grief last week, but it sure, uh, sure looks like it's taking. I can see some new growth on the side here. On the back towards me, there's some, some new growth. Everything is definitely headed up towards the light, which is always a Fairly positive sign. I've got one little floppy dead bit there, but considering what I did to that to get it out of the soil in the first place, that's really not so bad. Now these strawberries that we can just barely see, I am not, I'm not ready to make a statement on whether or not they're surviving. Um, I still see a lot of vibrant green in this one on the right. Again, cue the drain. That's always a positive sound to me though. It means the garden itself is functioning properly and uh, I'm getting that fluctuation in uh, the water level with the roots. And we'll talk about that in a future video because uh, there are a few people out there that expressed an interest in starting up an aquaponic garden. So I'll probably make a walkthrough video for that. And then uh, who knows, maybe we'll have a live chat after that kind of discussing if anybody still has any further questions because I, there, it's a fun way to garden and I, I really look forward to more people giving it a go. Uh, I've got a nice little empty spot here in the middle, you'll notice, and I want to get some rosemary growing in here again because I have found rosemary does incredibly well in aquaponic gardens. And I'm, I'm up for a couple of other herb suggestions. It turns out I don't really have a lot of herb seeds left. 
So I'm going to have to do some shopping before next year's actual garden season rolls around. But I'm looking for things that'll be a nice, uh, strong and individual flavor, as well as maybe being a, a different type of plant to put in the garden here. Toying with the idea of maybe some marjoram or some uh, tarragon. I think I found some summer savory seeds upstairs. So that could be interesting but I've never really grown any of those. Um, I have grown rosemary in the past, like I said, and it, it did very well, but I don't have seeds for it. So yeah, anywho, that about wraps it up for how things are doing in the current aquaponic garden. And as a general, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm gonna say thumbs up, things are doing exceptionally well. And I'm very pleased with the new location and switching it back to the bed instead of the buckets. and basically just the new slash old direction that the aquaponic garden is taking again. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get to talking about health benefits of aquaponic gardening then, shall we? So in general, the question was, have I noticed any sort of a health benefits or do I feel that I'm noticing health benefits associated with uh, my aquaponic gardening? And the answer, you know, in short, and there's always a short and a long answer with me, but the answer in short is yes, I absolutely have noticed some some definite improvements to my health and there are a couple of really basic reasons for that i mean the, the number one reason would be gardening in general keeps you a little bit more active aquaponic gardening nowhere near as labor intensive as traditional gardening but you're still bending twisting doing all of those things so it keeps you a little bit more limber straight up there you go secondary thing with that you know I am now eating a lot more, even just leafy greens. This year I'm going towards herbs with the garden, but in the past it's been a lot more leafy greens, tomatoes and things like that than I ever did before. And that is simply because of the aquaponic garden. So that has to be considered as a benefit there. I mean, if I was doing it with any type of garden, I would be seeing that same benefit, but doing it with the aquaponic garden because I'm, I'm so passionate about it and so curious about it, I think I'm probably experiencing it a little more than I would have with uh, the soil gardening, which if you've been following the channel, is not, not really my strong suit, but I'm trying, I'm learning, you know? It's all about, the, it's all about that learning curve. Uh, let's see, when you get right down to it, aquaponically grown, say, herbs, while they're very, very aromatic, are probably not going to contain, potentially probably not going to contain quite as many trace elements uh, and some of the minerals that you would find in properly, and I'm going to stress that, properly grown uh, soil garden herbs, just because in proper soil with the mycorrhizal fungi and all the bacteria and stuff that are present there that are absent in an aquaponic garden, um, they have a better opportunity for nutrient exchange between the plants and the, uh, the breakdown of things just provides those minerals that otherwise we would have to provide with additions into the aquaponic garden. And because I try very hard not to put a lot of additional things into my aquaponic garden, like I don't even really give the goldfish fish food, um, those, those things are just going to be missing. Maybe not entirely absent, but... Mm, probably not as, as, as intense as they could be. Health benefits. I'm growing a lot more herbs than I ever used to use in my cooking and huge drain yet again. Even if they are not quite as uh, intensely beneficial, we'll say, as maybe they could be, they are still somewhat beneficial. And the fact that I am using more of them and a wider variety of them than I ever did before has definitely led to uh, some some minor health improvements, you know, I'm, I'm eating a lot more antibacterial things and uh, yeah, I just, uh, I feel better in general and I can't necessarily explain um, why or how. Uh, at some level there's almost a bit of, I want to say an alleviation of depression. A lot of people kind of associate it with a seasonal depression come winter time, like out here, wintertime, right? I talk trash about wintertime in Manitoba because it sucks. There's a lot of snow, it's cold, it, ta it takes forever. And it gives me like, these, the year is this big and my growing season is this big because the rest of it is essentially winter out here, right? But um, 
growing aquaponically like I am here, I can do it in my basement under some, these are just standard fluorescent shop lights, very cheap to get. And you know, I can still get fresh herbs to put in my food. And there's no way that is not a health benefit that comes out of this, you know. I could go buy these things from the store, um, but they would all be very dried and grown in who knows what kind of conditions. Possibly even even more absence of trace minerals because the, the soil that they're grown in isn't being used correctly, isn't being cared for correctly, and it's just depleting. Like the water level in my grow bed right now. You know, is it um, gonna revolutionize the world and make everybody instantly super healthy? No, of course not. People gotta exercise more to be healthy and there's all that stuff that goes along with it. And uh, most people just don't wanna put the effort it takes into being healthy. Sorry, I'm taking that dead piece of oregano and just feeding the fish here. But if you do it right, yeah, you can get a lot of health benefits out of even a stripped down aquaponic garden like this. I'm missing half of the uh, key components that would be considered essential by most gardeners and my, my system runs just fine. I'm not really adding anything to this, which like I was saying, would definitely improve trace elements and things like that. But that's just fine. I mean, I have fish that live on herbs grown in the garden and aphids grown on my seedlings and do pretty fine. I mean, they occasionally get a scrambled egg because we've got the chickens and sometimes there's a surplus. So whatever, leftovers come down here. The fish enjoy them, it's good, good cheap protein. But otherwise, you know, there are very, very few inputs that go into this garden and everything that comes out of it is considered good for me, even, you know, at a grocery store produce level. So yeah. There's the end of the longer answer to it, and I would definitely say that I have felt as though I am noticing some health benefits from my long-term aquaponic addiction. So I hope this has helped answer your question, and uh, thank you very much for the excellent question, because it's very kind of thought-provoking, you know? And I love the, the questions that come up in the comments in general, because quite often you guys get me thinking about uh, well, just new ideas, and sometimes people make a suggestion and my brain goes, well, that's an interesting idea, and then if we do this to it and do that to it, and it becomes this whole big monstrosity of an adventure and a project, and I, I absolutely love those kind of projects. That's that, that really is what keeps the bear ticking. So, thank you very much for joining me on this kind of a Sunday look at the, the garden, my aquaponic basement garden, and a quick chat about well, the health benefits, so-called and or potentially realized of aquaponic gardening. Uh, if you've enjoyed this or, uh, you know, you like it, blah, 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 share, like, all that fun, happy social media stuff. But uh, seriously, any questions, comments down below. And uh, yeah, much love, everybody. I will see you in the next probably rather random garden update. Take care.